Hey, this is Jesse with Create This. Today I'm going to ra risk the wrath and fury of the internet by giving you my honest opinion on something. So this is my uh, FreeSky Tyrannus X9D. And you can see here that I've got these uh, red gimbals installed on it. And these are, um, I believe they're M9R gimbals, so they have like the 45 degree uh, throw vertically. And they're hall sensor gimbals, so they have a little, a little bit higher resolution than typical uh, gimbals that come with it. These are the original gimbals that came in my X9D. And uh, I ran these for years. And the, the throttle is notched. You can, you can kind of see that here. It, it kind of clicks a little bit when I move it. When I installed the M9R gimbals, I made sure to remove the notching on the throttle. And here's why. I run my X9D exclusively for multi-rotors. So I fly quads and hex copters sometimes. Um, I don't fly fixed wings and I don't have any intention of really flying fixed wings. So the, uh, the X9D comes from the factory with a notched throttle. And my personal opinion is that if you're going to fly a multi-rotor, uh, a quad or a hex or something like that, you should remove the notching on the throttle immediately, even if you just have the, the stock gimbals. And here's why. Uh, often what you'll find, especially, now this especially holds true if you're just getting into the hobby and you're learning and you're new to flying and you're especially new to FPV. Uh, what you'll find is that on the throttle, your hover, your stable hover for the quad will be somewhere between two notches. And that's not a real great thing uh, when, you're, when you're just learning. What that means is you may have additional resolution in the stick, but the notches in the stick are preventing you from actually realizing that additional resolution. And you may find that if you remove the notching on the throttle stick that you can actually establish a stable hover. Not only that, the notching uh, provides a little bit of re resistance and it may, like, you know, you can train yourself to, to fly with it. That's not a huge deal, but um, you may find that uh, you're a little bit more efficient and smooth if you remove the notching. Let me give you a close-up shot of what the notching looks like on this one. So you can see on the back side of the gimbal here, uh, and this is usually hidden because it's inside the, the X9D, there's this top plate with a little, a little indent in the top. And you can see that there are two of them. This one is the tension plate and this one is the notching plate. And so only the notching plate has the notch in it. Well, the notching plate fits into these notches in the top of this semicircle. And so that's what gives you that notched feel. And so if you want to disable that, it's real simple. All you have to do is loosen up this screw to the point where the notch on the metal plate doesn't touch the notches in the plastic semicircle. It's really easy to do. When you move up to the hall sensor gimbals like the M9 or the M9R, you will have additional resolution on the stick and it's also a little smoother. But again, at least on the throttle, you'll feel the smoothness in the uh, roll axis, but you won't feel it in the vertical axis if you have the notching enabled. So if you wanna, if you wanna get the most of the, the smoothness of the, the hall sensor gimbals, you really need to upgrade or you really need to disable the notching on the throttle. Anyway. Just a quick tip, I, I don't think there's really any reason to continue running a notched throttle if you plan to strictly fly multi-rotors. Uh, if, if you disagree and you have a good argument against that, hey, please, please leave a comment down below and let me know. If you're interested in picking up a Tyrannus X9D, check down below the video in the description. I have a link to that. And I also have a link to these M9R all sensor gimbals. I like these a lot. The reduced travel on the vertical axis is great for me because I have fairly small hands uh, and my thumbs, I'm a, I'm a top thumber. So uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to fly. Hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.